Hayat, I hear you, but I don't see you actually. Is this all right? Is, is this as it should be, or I should yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. I think I think everything's being uh, recorded. Oh, now I see you. Great. Perfect. Hi, Ed. What a nice living room. Are you in your living room or you're somewhere else? <laughs> no, this is this is my office. This is, I said I actually I knew that I was doing like a lot of Zoom promo, so I got an office. So I've never had an office before. So this. Okay, is so you're in the office. I'm in the living room, you know, but I'm, I'm actually right in front of the wall. So to be fair, look now you see my living room. So <laughs> I'm Yeah, this is great. I can see the you know the, the things behind you, so you can, you can see it too. <laughs> Excellent, man. Well, Ed, thank you uh, for your time. I think that um, you wrote two listeners who will be very happy to see you. And um, and then a new single is coming out. So I was I was wondering, I was like, okay, so Ed was doing something in the lockdown. He wasn't just looking at the Netflix shows, but he was doing something. So you were yeah. in the studio all the time. How did you spend this, this uh, weird time, by the way? Um, well, uh, my wife had a baby. Um, okay. <laughs> so I had a we we have a daughter. Um, so that yeah. was uh, a big change. So I didn't actually work for the like first six months of her being born. I was like full time dad, uh, full dad. Yeah, yeah. And then I went yeah. back into the studio like recently just to finish off the album. That's when Bad Habits came. Um, yeah. And yeah, I've been working on the album since I handed Divide in. I think the first song I wrote for the album was like June 2017. So it's just like bit by bit by bit adding to it, yeah. and making it as good as possible. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was I was kind of surprised uh, by the vampirish theme around it. You know, I was like, hmm, this guy, he looks like an Edward Cullen with a with a different uh, color of the hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying something different, man. I haven't I, ha I haven't ever done a music video like this. I've never done a song like this. I just want to do something that's a little bit different. Yeah, for sure. You know, I actually I I heard the single and it was and it is a little bit different. It's like a it has this dance vibe in it. And I was like, wow, it went this way. But, you know, I mean, you 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 basically tried a lot of things, you know, I mean, the, the featuring with Eminem, that, that must have been your dream, right? Or like, yeah, outside. yeah, absolutely. I feel like I feel like as an artist, if you cover the same ground you've done before, it's just not fun or interesting. I feel like for yeah. me, I, I always want to do the next thing. I always want to try something else. I've never I've never made a dance tune and this is the closest thing to my sort of music i could make a dance tune i feel yeah definitely and you went a little bit higher with your with your voice as well you know yeah, like well, the, the vocals as well are recorded so quiet and then made really loud so it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it works it works yeah and it, i think that the single will work you know i mean among the the you know uh dance music people they they will like it for sure you know actually speaking of dance music i saw that uh solomon you know the the the, the famous dj he he got out the, his first album and jamie fox was on it like uh, like a vocalist you really? know like jamie fox who worked with kanye west is with this guy you know and i was like That's okay. amazing Music is even more right, like uh, you know, like <laughs> in the chorus right now. I, I, I feel I, like I feel like people want to dance, man. I feel like people want to dance, and um, yeah, tired of sitting on their butts in front of the TVs in, in the lockdowns. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> yeah, you'll be playing. You'll be uh, playing on Euro uh, 2020 uh, on the yeah, TikTok. Man. Mate, That's I'm really, uh, really excited about it. It's at my. Uh, local football club's home stadium and um the guy that made all, all my like first music videos and like the justin bieber music video and yeah. what else he made, thinking out loud he's going to direct all of it it's 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 going to be really cool maybe some some people don't know but you sponsor your own like a town club yeah town, right yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. Sponsor. so are you are you actually on the on the jerseys like your I am, name? yeah i am yeah they uh it's on this season's jersey i just they just sent me one actually that it's it, lo it looks pretty cool man looks pretty cool yeah, yeah, it does you know i saw i saw on your instagram with david beckham you know the the, the trailer for this uh for your <laughs> for your concert on, on the tiktok uh, actually you you were shooting at the it was a, kind of a different like a garden version of a, of a goal right it was like a Small. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, TikTok got it. I don't I don't really know. I think it was a goal for TikTok, I guess. So that's why it was like this. Now I, I understand. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. You have a pretty good shot, by the way. That was the first shot. And then I did three more that sucked. They were, <laughs> It was really bad. So, yeah, the first one was good. Ed, are you going to be uh, looping in, uh, like in, in the future? Are you going to be still looping on the stage? Because yeah. it's... Yeah. Yeah, always, al sure. always looping. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying out a band now just to see how it goes, but I am always looping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you know, I, I remember in Prague you had um, 
80,000 people in front of you. Um, I was like wondering, you know, what that might feel, not, not the, uh, you know, the, the, the people, just the amount, but when you were there just alone, you know, with your looping station, you know, you, you might hit the wrong <laughs> the pedal and let well, it go. Feel, so, so that does happen, man. And I feel like that makes the show more interesting. Because yeah, it's not yeah. it's not planned. It just it just happens, and then it's you know it's it's a live concert, so things mistakes happen. I think I I think it's a blessing whenever mistakes happen because it allows you. I've done so many shows that uh -huh. it allows you to test your ability to bring it back. You know, I think it's I think it's good. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, I was just wondering, like, like, like is this guy interested in having a band or like or like he? You know, you just enjoy um, the, the 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 technology. You know, that allows yeah. you. To Things, you know. I've always felt like having a band would be fun, but I never want the show to. If I'm going to get a band, it has to be better than the loop pedal show. It has to be. Yeah. So I need to make it there first. Yeah, they will have a. They will have to have a very good timing because the loop pedal is is they're always. I know, man, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations on the uh, the football today. By the way, did you watch the game? Well, well, actually, I did not, but I know the I know the results. Yeah, it's, it was good, it's man. Great. The second the second goal was cracking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Actually, I almost like became a little more like tennis guy than a football guy right now because yesterday, you know, the Roland Garros was uh, was ending. Yeah, yeah, when this interview will be aired, it will, it will be not yesterday, but yeah. you know, I this uh, Tsitsipas and Djokovic. Um, thing and did you see the game? Did you see it? No, I've never really been a tennis person. I've always like football's really? like my main sport that I watch. I understand that you know, but yeah. you know what? If you gotta have a free time, take a look tennis. at this. It was like a, it was almost like you know, tennis sometimes yeah. reminds me of chess. It's more like a mental thing than a than a than a physical thing, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, and by the way, at uh, since you you love soccer that much. Um, like, do you play it in your free time? Uh, or like, do, do you yeah, have something well, I mean, to play I haven't, with? I haven't played for a very long time because of the pandemic, but um, I tried to play. We played on tour maybe like every three days. We would play. Yeah. I went on my Europe tour when I had James Bay opening up for me. He, okay. um, Him and his crew, we used to play football. When I toured Asia and had 1OK Rock opening up for me, we played football all the time. I just, like, it's a great way to exercise and it's really fun. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, back to your single. Uh, it's called Bad Habits. I know that maybe you had, you know, you had this question or you heard it a thousand times already since it's called Bad Habits. But you know, when you were talking about um, touring and stuff, did you did you get some bad habit during this uh, becoming like famous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I what was the number one that you got rid of, by the way. Don't talk about bad habits that you still have. <laughs> um, binge drinking. Binge drinking. I feel like I feel like English culture is. I don't know what it's like in in Czech culture, but I'm sure yeah. I'm sure it's similar. Like when we drink, we yeah. drink. We like we go like. I used to see no point in having a glass of wine. I'd be like, if I'm having a glass, I'm having a bottle. Or if I'm having a beer, I'm having ten. So like, yeah. for me, the bad habit that I gained from tour was drinking every day. Yeah, um, and that's the bad habit I've kind of like cut out now. Is like. Yeah. You know, I haven't had a, I haven't, I think the last time I had a drink was like a week ago and it, I had like a glass of wine. So I'm a bit, a bit more balanced. Yeah, I totally understand that. But yeah, I was surprised that you are the, the wine type of guy. I thought that you will be like beer and nothing else. So why, okay, so beer, if I'm on a night out, like yeah. if we go to the pub, it's beer. Mm -hmm. If I'm having a meal, it's wine. But I'll always start with a beer. I'll always have a beer and then, and then a nice bottle of wine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? When you're going to be in Czech Republic, I think that you will uh, enjoy not just a typical Czech beer, but we also have a, one of the best non-alcoholic uh, beers around the world, they say. Cool. You know, What's it try, called? Try it when you come back. What's it called? <laughs> uh, it's called, you know what? I don't know if this will be like an, an advertisement, but I will tell you, it's called Birel with two yeah. L. You know, in, cool. <laughs> in the I may, I love, I love non-alcoholic <laughs> beer. I think, I, I think that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when my boss will ask me, so how did this um, uh, Ed Sheeran interview go? I was like, yeah, it was good. You know, in the end, we made a very nice advertisement for a non-alcoholic <laughs> beer. So I guess you know, this has something, some added value. Well, yeah. Ed, we'll, we'll be looking forward for more uh, singles or songs from you and the new album that's scheduled on 221, right? Uh, yeah, the new album will be out uh, in a few months. A few Great. months. Yeah. Great. Yeah, well, you know, just from the one snippet that we've heard, it's going to be different, right? 
Yeah, well, uh, actually, the album, I think the fans will really like the album. This is the, the most different song. Okay, um, okay, okay. So there will be some Ed Sheeran roots as well, all right? <laughs> I think 90% of the album is my roots. Yeah. Great, great. Uh, well, thank you uh, for your time. Thanks for the interview, nice man. Time, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Have a great rest of your day. You too. You too, man. Man.